Despite improved conditions for Christians in Turabdin, their survival has not received the all clear. Danger may still lurk in the embers of fanaticism that constantly smolder in this region. The Syrian Orthodox Church is the institution that champions the cause of the Aramean population, and it does what it can. The role of protector and guardian is delegated to the parishes and to the few remaining monasteries, the real strongholds of Turabdin's Christian fabric. Ruins of monasteries that were active up until the turn of the 19th century are commonplace. Among the still functioning monasteries are two that are especially important. Deir ad Zafaran, the Safran Monastery, lies southeast of Mardin, the largest city in this Turkish province. The name comes from the color of the local stone. Built in 493 AD, Deir ad Zafaran was considered the citadel of the Aramean Christians of Turabdin. For almost 800 years, from 1160 to 1920, it was the seat of the Syrian Orthodox Patriarchate that is now located in Damascus. Today, only two monks live here. With the help of a handful of lay volunteers, they run a school for orphans and tend to the religious needs of the local congregation. So they have a um, most important Christian they believe it before sun god and uh, this is uh, before BC about 2000 years ago. Our guide explains that more than 2000 years ago the oldest wing of the monastery was a temple to the sun god. Before BC 2000 years ago, and this is a window. The sun raising. There was a window here, facing east, before which pagans would gather to worship the rising sun. And this part is for sacrifice, and people they give. In the sacrificial area, animals were offered to the sun god. More important ceiling. These stone slabs are fitted together without the use of mortar or metal braces. They're approximately two meters high and simply fitted next to one another in six rows to the left and six rows to the right of a central row of keystones. They hold each other like that. These doors are 300 years old. The doors of the crypt that houses the tombs of the patriarchs are 300 years old. The church with all its stucco work, ornamentation, furniture and altars is the work of Aramean craftsmen. The Patriarch's throne used to be in Antioch. On the back, starting from the middle, are the names of all the Patriarchs that have succeeded each other through the centuries, from St. Peter to the present day. Three hundred years ago, these litters were used to take the Patriarchs on long pastoral journeys along the rough, often hostile roads of Turabdin. 
The altar of the Virgin Mary is a masterpiece of Aramean craftsmanship. It's entirely made of walnut wood, joined without nails or metal braces. At the foot of the altar is a fragment of the mosaic from the cave of St. Peter in Antioch that dates back 1,600 years. The time has come to say goodbye, but first, our host has something to show us before we leave. Look down in Syria, Damascus, Patriarch, and those were monasteries. Moriaco, Virgin Mary, destroyed by the enemies of our faith because religion hatred. It's late. We have to get going if we want to arrive to Mor Gabriel before it's dark. All right, because when come down, Mor Gabriel, doors closed. Right. 